that crop. They say ducks don't sell, but I think this one will. I was shooting this Volkswagen adventure trip using old split window Volkswagens going through the ice and snow in California. And every year I would attend this event and I would shoot more and more with as many cameras as I can get a hold of. And eventually that led me to HD cameras and part of my rationale for spending all that money on a decent camera was to say, hey, I could make money with this. If I shoot something that's vaguely interesting, I could sell it online. And it took me a few years, but I actually started doing it. And now I'm selling stock footage. Really fun in the wintertime because you can, you can go out there and you've got gloves on to protect yourself from the wind that'll suck all the heat out of your body and leave you with these icicles at the end of your fingers. The cameras, they put up with it pretty well. The batteries are the first things that you notice going. The tripod heads get a bit stiffer. The legs freeze up now and then. For the most part, it's just about your own fortitude. Can you dress warmly enough to keep yourself from being so uncomfortable that you can't concentrate on the shot? But it's really cool too, because it's beautiful. It's always really awesome and beautiful. I like the freedom freedom to do anything I want, any amount of creativity that I can bring to the camera or to the use of it or to the scene, that's great. I never know what's going to sell, so I might as well shoot what I want to shoot. And that's, that's true freedom for me. The shots that sell are the ones that I had most fun shooting. And there's no set rules that I have to abide by, except it's got to be quality. And I'm always striving to create better quality than um, what I shot yesterday. I'm still improving and I'm coming up with my own concepts and I'm getting my own shots and if I look back over the entire cycle of my experience as a stock shooter, it's worth it. It's actually paying off.